MOL is leveraging its know-how in safe operations built up over the years to steer toward new energy fields. LNG value chain uh, is uh, vast, then MOL as a transporter has been supporting LNG value chain uh, related to the transportation. In future, uh, we would like to support and uh, create a new value chain in order to provide FSRU and uh, FL Energy as a new technology to diversify the air energy value chain. MOL is resolutely taking on challenges in uncharted fields. Sometimes you find uh, work in our uh, press release like uh, the world first, the only one blah 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 in Asia, only one blah 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 in, in the world. MOL is the world first operator, FSRU in Asia. I think it shows not only the technical strengths, but also our customers oriented services. It means MOL answer the customer's requirement and uh, customer needs. By responding to the demands of customers, it is developing new technologies and pioneering a new age. The Yamal LNG project is one example. Utilizing natural gas resources in the Arctic region, for which there were previously no transport plans, LNG can now be shipped around the world throughout the year from an LNG plant in Russia's Yamal Peninsula. Deployed for that purpose are ice-breaking LNG carriers. MOL has set a new benchmark in marine transportation from the Arctic via the shorter Northern Sea Route. MOL also took the lead to meet diversifying demand for LNG transportation. We teamed up with a local partner and established a ship management company to meet Indonesia's domestic demands for LNG. We help meet increasing global demand for LNG by operating small LNG carriers that can serve small-scale power plants and launching the world's first liquefied ethane carrier to handle exports of ethane, which is a byproduct of shale gas development in the U.S. In addition to LNG transportation, MOL is also engaged in a range of offshore businesses, including resource development. FSRUs are floating storage and regasification units that regasify LNG at sea and transfer the gas under high pressure to pipelines onshore. It is a solution that makes it possible for countries that didn't import LNG until now to acquire this vital energy source at a lower cost and faster than constructing onshore regasification facilities. With the so-called shale gas revolution as one catalyst, numerous countries have started importing LNG in recent years. Many utilize FSRUs. What's more, plans are underway around the world to use FSRUs in new LNG import projects, and demand is seen to be rapidly expanding. Currently, many FSRUs are in operation around the world. In the southern part of Turkey, MOL has deployed the world's largest FSRU as it responds to diversifying demands by leveraging its extensive know-how accumulated over its long involvement in energy transportation. Backed by our achievements in the LNG carrier business, MOL is also expanding into the LNG bunkering business and is launching into LNG bunkering vessel ownership and operation. These developments will realize more environmentally friendly vessel operations by promoting the use of LNG as a fuel.